What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on AMC, show you where AMC is as a whole, go through what the overall position did for the day, as well as talk about some interesting news that I don't think is really true as to how I'm saying it. You guys are probably reading the title like, no, no, that, that didn't happen. And maybe some of you <clears throat> who are, um, what do they call them, Swifties? Uh, maybe you guys are like, yeah, they definitely did it. Um, but make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. If you want to join my live streams, I have live streams on Kick. Uh, if you guys want to be a part of that, that's every morning, um, <clears throat> every weekday morning, as long as the the markets are open. Sometimes I'll do some weekends um, going over some uh stock related stuff as well as crypto related stuff and just having conversations it's always great to do that so if you want to be a part of that the link will be in the description somewhere but anyways i've been talking about amc for a while now what has it been maybe three years at this point <clears throat> um somewhere around it might have been like two plus years uh, AMC and all of the different short interests, the heavy shorts that are going into it from hedge funds and the amount of manipulation that goes into the market um, has been insane. We knew, <clears throat> sorry, we knew that, um, you know, a lot of this manipulation was surrounded around the fact that around, around, was surrounded around, around, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm keep going around and around here. <laughs> How many times can I say around in a, in a sentence or in a video? You know what? <clears throat> the whole thing was hovering around uh, the fact that hedge funds knew that AMC was struggling. AMC was having difficulty because they weren't open, right? They still had expenses. They still have all of these, these things that they have to pay. They have debts, but um, those debts are just rising, right? As they can't pay them off because they have no revenue, the, re the debts are just rising. Um, and as they did reopen, you didn't, you still had limited capacity. So you still have to pay employees and, and all the other expenses you have while still getting limited revenue. So it was a difficult situation to where once you see something like that, hedge funds decide to take advantage of that situation and short the hell out of it so that you go bankrupt, right? They don't care about your business. They don't care about anybody that works there. All they care about is the money in their pockets. And if they bet right, then they end up making a hell of a lot of money out of the deal. And, you know, one example of this would be Toys R Us, right? They do it with plenty of companies to where they try and bankrupt them by shorting the hell out of their stock and giving them no ability to climb out of this thing, right? It should be something where you have the chance to climb out of it. When you're a small business, you have the chance to climb out, right? You can see revenue, you can limit your expenses, you can do all that stuff. But when you're a corporation, when you're something that is a, um, a publicly traded company, you now have, you know, maybe a board to um to get decisions from to to look up to and then also um you have employees and uh, tons of different locations franchises and it's just so many different um you know connections to it that you have to kind of uh you have to stay with that and yes you can close down certain stores certain locations and um you might not be able to pay all of the staff there so you have to shrink that down <clears throat> but they just want to attack a business until they bankrupt them and it's not right we know it's not right every business should have a chance to survive uh, especially when you have something that's uncontrollable like a lockdown right um so anyways amc was was struggling for a while and you saw the short interest you saw how it did pick up from a level of like a dollar 90 and increased all the way up to uh it's high of like 76 dollars before decreasing and after decreasing you saw a lot of trouble uh here while they were climbing out uh, of debt and um increasing the revenue decreasing expenses um putting expenses where they they should be where they're going to create more revenue rather than expenses in places to where you wouldn't create the revenue um having all these locations will um end up increasing your overall net income and that's what they ended up doing right i mean just recently in the last um quarter they've had a positive net income instead of a negative net income in the form of you know tens or hundreds of millions of dollars you're looking at tens of millions of dollars of a positive um net income which is fantastic 
Um, but anyways, as we see this, this happening, they had to do a reverse split. They had to do all this, this other stuff. Um, that's kind of a negative sentiment on the, the position. <clears throat> and now we're, um, at a place to where, sorry, now we're at a place to where AMC is sitting at about $12. Now, again, it did the reverse split. So it increased the price while also diluting the position. You saw a decrease yesterday. It increased by like 13 or sorry, 16%. And then today it's, uh, it's like flat. It was at an increase today as well, especially during the pre-market, but then decided to collapse down and maybe even get heavily shorted. Uh, as we can see, um, you know, it was pretty much a, a fall from where it opened, right? Cause it opened up at 1389 and currently sitting at 1289. So the, the, uh, previous price, uh, and previous level as we're looking at a gain comes from the close. <clears throat> but anyways, this video, uh, sort of about what you see down here, right? Uh, so apparently, uh, Taylor Swift's error, error tour or eras tour, um, is coming to screens, coming to AMC theaters in October, which, um, creates a lot of hype. And I just wanted to put a title out there saying Taylor Swift might've saved AMC. It's not the case. We're not seeing any type of movement because of it, but we may see a lot of revenue, which could essentially lead to a ton of debts being paid off, which would be great. Um, just like what you see with, you know, Barbie and Oppenheimer and the amount of revenue that was generated just through those two films. So seeing something like Taylor Swift and the amount of people that are connected with that, um, it could be huge for, the, you know, um, AMC. <clears throat> But it's not something that saved AMC. I just wanted to put that title out there, which is always interesting. But anyways, I I know, right? I wanted to close this out. I know a lot of people, um, you know, believe in what AMC is, right? Believe what AMC stands for. Um, the community wants to support AMC as much as possible, wants to be here for, <clears throat> um, you know, everybody that, that works there and, you know, has a job that's employed with them and everything, but you also have the community that's there for their own financial gain as well. <clears throat> and I understand we're going to see, uh, maybe AMC struggle from, from month to month, but I hope, I hope that they can find a way to get all this together and, uh, be able to get completely back on their feet consistently have a positive uh, net income and find a way to get to a point where they can pay off debts because nobody wants hedge funds uh, to win in these scenarios, especially when it's a business that, you know, a lot of us care about going to see movies. That's something that will never change. You can say it'll be taken over by streaming. Yes, people stream a lot, but going to the movies is definitely still an experience and will always be an experience. You're never going to be able to get away from that right? <clears throat> um, there's no scenario in my, in my opinion, that will take away from the movie theater, right? The, um, you know, watching of a, a movie, a new movie with popcorn. And, um, the only thing, I mean, the prices of, you know, a lot of the, the popcorn and stuff are ridiculous for how much it costs to actually produce the popcorn, but that's neither here nor there. The experience is, is where it's all at. Um, so if we can get back to reasonable popcorn prices, maybe more people would go. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Let me know what you think about AMC. Did Taylor Swift really save AMC uh, or, or not? Uh, but hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.